Welcome back to another riveting episode of Game of Who. Uh, this week, uh, we're, we're taking a look at uh, Season 11, Episode 3 of Doctor Who. Uh, this one's entitled Rosa, directed by Mark Tonderai and written by Mallory Blackman and Chris Not Chinball. Um, <laughs> we, th th this is going to be a recurring thing. Don't, don't. I, I, ho I hope this joke hasn't gotten old yet, because we're going to beat it into the ground just like the Steam Wars. Man. Um, yeah. So, um... Yeah, this this is a show where we uh, we watch an episode of Doctor Who, we uh, we we take some notes while we're watching it, and then we come and talk with you guys, and then at the end of the show we invite you on to say your piece. But first, you got to listen to like forty five minutes of us yammering. Yep, uh, it was def I completely forgot like we were doing a back in time episode. Then I started to watch it, and I was like, oh right, we're, we're doing. I think we even mentioned it last week. Immediately, I thought. Uh, Quantum Leap, much? There, there. You know what? I, I, I can see what you're getting at. Mm -hmm. It definitely has a bit of that vibe going, and I guess we'll we'll get to those parts. Um, but yeah, no, the, the I, 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 I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll save this bit to the end after after we're done talking about the episode. Should we, should, should we just get started? Yep. All, All right. right. It's going to open up, and uh, first thing out of the just out of the gate, man, it's like. Here's a history lesson, just in case somehow you didn't know this, right? Well, the, it, to me, it was very much like, hey, did you not watch the trailer last week? Well, this is what this is about. I don't know. Do you, I, I noticed this right at the beginning, and I noticed it a few points throughout the episode. But the soundtrack has taken a very Star Trek bent to it mm -hmm. with the horns. I don't know. Some of the some of the horn stings sound like very Deep Space Nine. I'm just like, I got to be 100% honest with you. I... The, I don't really notice like soundtracks and I did mm. until the end, as I say, as a hypocrite. And I was like, whoa, what? Okay. More well, on yeah, that, that, one, that one, that one was out of place. Like the, there, there's the difference between soundtrack and like the, the scoring anyways. So, um, we, we, we open up and, uh, we, we, we got miss, miss parks. She's mm. going on a bus. Um, and she gets accosted by the driver who tells her to, you know, don't enter from the front. Go to the back of the bus. It's very, very, uh, I, don't, I don't know, pointed reminder about how the U.S. was in the 50s, which this episode is going to rub in your face a whole lot. Um, so um, after, after that, we cut to uh, the TARDIS materializing in an alleyway. <laughs> a soundstage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is it just me or does the uh, does the TARDIS fade in effect look a little bit worse nowadays? Yeah, well, that was like this is this is like the, I saw them like this is a very basic fade in effect. Like it maybe I'm maybe I'm just nostalgia visioning this, but like I remember that being a little more better looking. Well, this is not like well, you know, the TARDIS is still kind of pissed off apparently. Yes, <laughs> it's not in a mood because. Uh, Basically, when we get that opening, uh, the doctor's like, what the hell are we doing here? Why are we doing this? And I kind of felt that they threw that in there as, hey, are you watching? Are you new to Doctor Who? You're watching it now? That's brilliant. By the way, this thing, this TARDIS, it does what it wanna. It takes you, it takes the doctor where they need to go. Both of the doctor. That both, both of the doctor. No, sing singular day. It's valid. Um. Anyways. Um. So we 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 get a, we get a bit of a conversation in um in the in the TARDIS. Um. Graham is not convinced that uh, the doctor can actually drive the damn thing, mm -hmm. and uh, is, is asking where they're at. Oh, we're 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 in America on on Earth in the 1950s, and uh, Graham's all like, "Oh man, can we go see Elvis?" Well, it turns out the doctor knows Elvis, man. I mean that 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 makes sense. Apparently, she gave him a cell phone and a fried banana sandwich recipe. Well, that was, was like, oh, I gave a cell phone. I was like, a fried banana sandwich phone. Oh man! Yeah. And don't but don't tell anyone. But yeah, all right, mm -hmm. they do that. That's a common thing because even like last episode, you know, we had a uh, Pythagorean uh, uh, Pythagoras's uh, uh, shades yeah, with a hangover and all hangover, that. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're going to get a couple of these jokes. But we the, and the, and honestly this this is something that I'm glad Doctor Who does where it's not like um ca uh, contrast to like another show like Legends of Tomorrow mm -hmm. where they don't really when when they go back to like a kind of racist time they're like, "Oh, this this is this is a very attractive melting pot of people, but they would not be as a group very well received if they went back in time like this." Uh this show the show uh uh 
does that where um a lady drops her glove um our our buddy sinclair he goes and he's like sorry man you drop your blood glove and he gets bitch slapped don't 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 touch the white women man don't don't do it not especially not in 1950s alabama it doesn't shy away from like this is the brutal truth this is what was going down and um Mm -hmm. yeah i know some people had a problem with that i I personally was like yeah don't like gloss over history don't try to make it something it wasn't uh, to 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 me i don't i, I, I don't i don't know and like the, the, this this is me as a white dude talking but like if you're if you're gonna take that route i kind of want to see like a more mature show handle this because mm-hmm. then you can really dig into like the ugliness of it because this is this is very much like stage racism right well it is That's i a, mean it, it's yeah. there to tell a story and but yeah. you know, <laughs> That's mm-hmm. definitely a thing, but we're going to roll onto that because Rosa shows up. This is where we get introduced, and she's like, "Yo, already like establishing like I'm the peacekeeper here because it, yep. it fast forwards right, and it's like seven years into the future before mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from that initial like, hmm, maybe from I'm going to tell this button, motherfucker yeah. to go fuck himself, and then we get there, and she's like, "Yo, all right, hey, look, you're new here, you're going to get yourself fucking killed," mm-hmm. and. Super. um and and uh yeah they, oh, right. they, yeah she's just like get the fuck out of here period yeah and then 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 we, then we get our first we get our first little look at the looming baddie who's uh who's gonna be showing up now could you tell that he was the baddie what gave it away the 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 musical skit sting the really <laughs> tight like camera zooming in on his eyes and going mm, i don't like you <laughs> it wasn't uh, like the fawn's leather jacket with the white t-shirt and you're like mm-hmm. the, the, the 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 greaser look yeah i mean that, I, that, I, I, it would have been great if he just like stepped over i don't know how they would have worked that in but like a dead shark just take a step over it yeah like yeah it. or like or like some inflatable dead shark or something <laughs> something like that man something but um that kind of was yeah but at, at, at first i'm like okay who is this guy he's like oh the uh the doctor's talking oh there there's time radiation going all over the place and mm-hmm. i thought hmm i i, I was i was kind of hoping that um the episode wouldn't go the obvious route and i was like oh maybe, maybe this is a time agent maybe they're gonna bring some of that back because that mm-hmm. was always a cool idea yeah other uh, other other time travelers contending with the doctor who are less informed and are more willing to break shit. Um, but we, uh, we get an impromptu history lesson. Well, uh, that was kind of the whole thing. They, they kind of roll back. It's like, uh, what's his name? I keep, uh, which, which guy? The tin dog. Oh, uh, Sin- Sinclair's his last name. I keep forgetting. Sinclair. His first name. It's going to uh, take. Yeah. Yeah. They, they better stick around for at least two series, and I might remember their names. Um, I, I, yeah, I remember the chick's name. Her name is Yaz, and I remember that Yaz. because she reminds me of, uh, that name reminds me of the dude from Project Wise. She's like the constable. I guess my other dude's going to be the mechanic, because I'm really bad with names. But they're yep. having like a debate, and like, how do you not know who Rosa Parks is? And he's like, ah, and he's like, but you went to a school named after. It's like, okay, I guess that's not something you would know. It's something you mm-hmm. should know, no matter, I mean, especially if you grew up in Britannia. Um, so they, 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 uh, they end up going to a diner. Um, and, and again, we get more period uh, appropriate racism. And I, I think that waitress made the same mistake that, uh, Christopher Columbus did where, uh, they, they, they point at a South Asian person and, uh, and, uh, call them, call, I, I guess it's a reverse Columbus, right? Cause, um, he, uh, they're, they think the waitress thinks, uh, that, uh, the Pakistani woman is a Mexican. Mm hmm. As, as opposed to Columbus mistaking um, actual South Americans, uh, Native South Americans for you know, Indian? South, East Asians. Yeah. Yeah. Indians. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's a reverse Columbus. Um, but, they're, they're, yeah, but he had a nice little comeback to the uh, waitress. Oh, yeah. It was like, uh, yeah, good thing I don't eat them. Right. Um, that, yeah, that, 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 that was pretty good. Uh, oh, I got well, through this. All right. So, like, they're doing the whole diner scene, and, like, at that point... I was like, okay, is everyone like doing the stare down? Like everyone, uh, everybody else in the diner. I was like, if they're are they doing that because they're just a bunch of racist dicks, or <laughs> are they are these like alien observer people? I think they're. Uh, I, th- I think the implication here is that they're just racist dicks. Uh, we 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 do get we do get like this. Uh, we do get the scene after they leave the uh, after they leave the diner where uh, where the guys like. 
oh man, I, like Rosa Parks spent her entire life living in this sort of climate, and a couple hours won't kill me. And I'm like, okay, now where when does he get shot? In like three, two. Dude. I was I was I was half expecting or, that. Yeah, like, the, the doctor's like, yo, um, my bad. Maybe you want to go chill out in the TARDIS. Hmm. I I I I would have thought that too. It's like let's let's be let's let's remove you guys from the situation so that you don't accidentally get shot or lynched or it's like yeah other like maybe thing. that sounds like a good idea. Credits. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh. But we get we we get we get the uh we 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 get after so after they after they leave the diner uh we 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 get we get our uh, our uh, greaser again who chews his toothpick menacingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Terribly so, yeah. man. Um. <laughs> But, you know, they're kind of like chewing up, uh, well, they walk into an empty warehouse because, oh, then she do undoes all the locks with the yep. new Sonic. I guess we're sticking with that design. Okay. I don't hate it, but empty warehouse. And she, like, da -da -da, turns out it was a uh, perception filter. Yes. Covering a briefcase. Uh well, and then and, and there's a great bit, bit where, uh, where he's like, can we open it? And the doctor's like, yeah, that's the right question. And... This this is this is how I know I play too much Dungeons and Dragons because my first reaction there is okay where's the fucking traps this thing's a fucking mimic it's gonna eat my face let's poke it with a stick see mm -hmm. what happens but uh, they they open it up and there is a bunch of rusty future gear uh in, 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 including information brick information which is my brick information brick is my personal favorite line from the entire episode really yeah. And there was a, it turns out there was a spare battery in there. A spare battery for a what, you ask? I don't it's a Spock know. laser! Yeah, it, it was a time pew pew laser, man. And I, I like how you have to like hold it, by, or you have to fire it by like shooting it underhand and like feeding the thing between your, your fingers there. Right. The dumb, dumb, dumb sci fi weapons designs 101. But we kind of get the introduction, and you know, she's like, hmm, all right, what's going on here? And he's like, you better get away, or I'm going to like shoot you and she's like i'm the doctor fuck off i'm the then, doctor you don't shoot me then, then he proceeds to start shooting at her and then they yep. all run outside then they have the um standoff at the okay empty petrol tank corral she, they, they they do and the doctor um and the doctor uh run, runs up and gives gives him the little uh one two with the sonic screwdriver the sonic reach around man she's like yeah. that was like just came up like yeah real quick menacingly quick oh uh, Oh, oh yeah, I mean, if I were that guy, I'd be like, "No, I'm throwing that away." I know what that thing was. That was a sonic screwdriver. I have no idea what the hell. Mm -hmm. But um, regardless, um, they get done we, with we, that. We, they break into they, a motel. They break into a motel. And we get a little scene between Yaz and Sinclair, and they're oh, like, right, "Oh, right, right. Ooh, they're going to smoosh nasty bits. They're 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 in love." Oh That's man! Good. All right, that irritated me a little bit because it's like, no, let's not have like a. We we just got done with Rory and Amy, man. That I felt like yesterday. No more of that. Yeah, it, it's su it's such a predictable move and trying to like force a romance subplot. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it can work, but this does not seem like it's one of those times. <laughs> um definitely a thing so we get in there um immediately proceed like directly into vandalism after breaking oh absolutely yeah. <laughs> fuck you hotel wall it's a special marker i can just make it disappear <laughs> right it's like oh I, definitely not banksy or am i <laughs> I, I i did like that that, that was like, cute that got, that got a smirk out of me um oh yeah 100 that uh but like during that you we get a shot of like the menacing police car and uh, Yep. Uh, well, and and then uh, and then we uh, are the the police officer shows up. Is officer officer Mason mm -hmm. officer Mason Dixon line here? Uh, if, that, if they didn't uh, want to club you over the head with that enough, mm -hmm. uh, but he 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 shows up. He's he's looking for for Yaz and Sinclair because they're not allowed to be in the hotel because they're not white. And um, we, we 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 get a little stalling scene where um, we get we also run into a case of identity theft. How so? Steve Jobs? Oh, that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The like over the time. Oh. You know, I think that's really like the disturbing thing about maybe people feeling a little queasy watching this because you know damn well motherfuckers like that existed. Like, mm -hmm. and were in positions of authority and they were like, what the? All right. And, mm -hmm. but your brain immediately, at least mine is like, isn't this overacting? And, but it's like, no. Probably not, but no. it's it, like, it, what's it, going it, on? It, the doctor tries, yeah. they're playing it out, and uh, 
grandpa's laying on the bed and i'm like man i, I think something else is going on here you know just kind of mm-hmm. looking at this position he's like no yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> and we're, we're throw me like one of your french girls phone salesman and he's like we're gonna make a phone and it talks and it makes music and he's like what's your name he's like steve steve jobs and i was like uh highly respectable or something like that turns out no i I, 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 I don't know. The, 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 the irony that uh, Steve Jobs is an Iranian dude is not lost on me when uh, he's trying to steal his identity. Mm. Uh, but anyways, we, we, get, we get some reminiscing about dead grandma. She, we're, we're, we're still talking about her. Man, all right. Here's one of my things. Like, dead grandma's been coming up so much. I don't think we've seen the last of her. Do you, so here, 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 here's the question. Do you think they're going to try and pull like a time resurrection thing? Or is it just going to be like... Um, there's like some sort of dream or like magic space mushrooms that make him hallucinate. Cybermen. Cyber Cybermen. No, turns not? out tur- turns out grandma's a Dalek. Oh man, that'd be fun. No, I just, I just think we're gonna see her again. Just that, like, part of me mainly mainly because she was just like written off so quick. You're like, yeah. She 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 was she was fridged so that uh, Grandpa would come along so that they could get some character drama between uh, Sinclair and uh, Graham. Right, got to bind bind them together. It's like call my Grams. He's like no, no. That's still a thing, but I feel that they bonded in this episode somewhat. Yeah, yeah. He he, he there there was less resistance to Graham calling him grandson. Mm-hmm. So I I I think I think that's that's put away for now they they worked them they worked out those problems on the desert planet with the funky robots um all right we got everything written on the wall this is i was like man are we watching like a crime procedural thing going on here no we're not we're still doing doctor who they got a plan they're gonna go stalk rosa parks man yeah yeah straight i mean homeboy <laughs> straight up's like yeah stalking rosa parks this is this is the new one um so they 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 they, uh, they come up with a plan. They're they're trying to they're trying to keep tabs on Rosa Parks. Um, the doctor has another encounter with our with our greaser. Mm-hmm. And we we find we finally figure out what what his deal is. He's from the Storm Cage. Storm Cage, man. It all boils down to like his motivation for like he's trying to change everything. He's like can't change big things or whatever. Fixed point in time was my first thing. He's like nope. Mm-hmm. My goal here is to make a butterfly fart. That's basically what he says. It's like, yeah, what's, it's, what's it's, your motivation, uh, evil greaser from the future? You space, whatever. I don't know, man. He's like, yeah, yeah it's just racism. Just, just I, I mean, it's it's a bold move. The reverse, the reverse time traveling Hitler plot. I mean, yeah, I was kind of, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it was an inverse of let's kill, kill Hitler. Yeah. I mean, I like, like I said, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't go there. Cause that's, that's the obvious play. And I, I don't know. I kind of want to be surprised. But he was in fiction. the storm cage. Storm cage, and because because he 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 killed he killed some he he didn't hurt anyone. He killed some people. Yeah, a thousand like people, maybe twelve, fifteen, fifteen people. Yeah, mm-hmm. a th- two th- a thousand, two thousand, a million, a trillion, billion. Kill everyone. The future's dead. But we learned um, something about him, man. We learned something very important about our. Um, space racist is he from the future or correct? yeah he's 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 from the future right. um first dude has a time vortex manipulator yes they're they're bringing they're bringing those back uh though that that one's a little short-lived second one he's got he's got a brain chip he's, he's mm-hmm. not allowed to like directly hurt people right he can he, he can like choke people sort of with well like, he does that man i mean he's straight up like uh what's her name from archer um yeah uh cheryl yeah, Cheryl. And yeah, he's, he's 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 got like a built-in safe word, man. He's like, ah, and the doctor's like, ha, ah, see, you can't really choke me. And he's like, damn it. But that's why he's using the uh, time zappy gun instead of like shooting yes. people. He's just sending them off into the future. So that, that that was the thing. Like the way they described it was it like it it zaps you to another point in time. So it's is this like tech derived from the Weeping Angels because they do the exact same thing? Well, I don't know what. Was that argon or whatever? Was that radiation? I know they mentioned some type of radiation. Yeah, ar- ar- argon particles or something. Right. Or ar- ar- argon Targaryen. No, no, that's, the, that's that's the wrong show. Never mind. Space words. Um, what else? Uh, then what happens after? Do they follow? Uh, well, yeah, they're 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 um they're they're still they're still trying to they're still trying. So now now that they they have uh, they got wind of the plot. 
mm-hmm. that uh, space greaser is or time greaser is trying to pull off. Now they now they got to stop it. So they have Yaz go like full Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and she's like she's coming up with like a conspiracy map to figure out where everyone's gonna be. Um, Sinclair is going to stalk Rosa Parks and hang out with her to keep her, keep tabs on her. Mm-hmm. And oh, we 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 get we get we get uh, surprise Martin Luther King. Oh right, he shows up because he's like, hey. He even says, he's like, I'm stalking Rosa Parks. And yeah. that thing goes down. She's like, come in. You can serve coffee. They're like doing like a meeting and all that fun stuff. And that goes down. But what what, what goes on immediately after that? I'm drawing a blank. Um, yeah. So we, 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 we get we get we get more planning. Um, and mm, mm. yeah, yeah, they're 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 trying to figure out the way to to counter Space Greaser's plot. So, I, okay, I'm, I remember this is why I'm drawing a blank because my brain kind of checked out during the whole like all this massive research, and I'm like, you're mm-hmm. not going to be able to convince me that you couldn't track this like hooking up one of the mobile phones to TARDIS space internet and accessing Wikipedia or something. Yeah, the, the the whole the whole time travel sci fi thing like really sort of kills the drama there. It's like we have a super advanced spaceship that can just map space time. We mm-hmm. theoretically know where anyone is at any given point because we can just go there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but anyway, but anyways, the they plan, put the things plan in continues. Motion. They got to stop uh, like one of the bus drivers from driving the bus. Was that it? So 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 they identified the original uh, bus driver who accosted Rosa Parks. Mm. Uh, Space Greaser sent him on vacation because his his thinking is that if he just changes enough, so if he if the bus driver is different, has a different reaction or something like that, then the Rosa Parks incident simply does not happen. And he's going out of his way to just like, he par- he parks a car on the bus route. He, uh, he tries to like put up uh, signs that says the bus service is canceled. Right. Um, he's, he's, he's doing a bunch of shit. Um, and, uh, uh, the, do- the doctor, uh, the doctor is trying and Yaz are trying to, um, keep tabs on Rosa Parks. They bring her, they, they, they rip up the doctor's coat and then it's like, Hey, you gotta, you gotta sew up this jacket. It's a very special coat. And Rosa's being all cool. She's like, I think I can fit you in it. Like later this evening, like, I'll stay and wait. Yaz did. Uh, yeah, uh, they they find the original bus driver and they go on a little they go on a little fishing trip slash race baiting. That was a uh, that was uh, that, that that was a good uh, grandfather grandson moment though. That, 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 was, that, that was that was that was a bonding thing. They just straight up sat down. So I was like, oh, and it was like the scared, like racist white dude, and he's like, I don't yeah. know what to do. I'm angered, and confused. The only thing in that scene, I mean, outside of it, it's like, yeah. All right, I like seeing somebody being uncomfortable like that for that. Um, mm-hmm. Where'd they get the fishing poles, man? I don't know why that bothers me. It did. I mean, like, I think the TARDIS has a bunch of them. Maybe. They're like, I, 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 oh, I, I, but, I didn't but, assume but, that, considering that they didn't just go to the TARDIS and hang out, as opposed to breaking into the motel room. Like, they probably true. just fucking, like, yoink them. <laughs> True. True. The 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 one thing that cheesed me though is that clearly they don't know how to use fishing rods because they're just kind of like I'm gonna stand here. Do 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 do. Well, that's, I that's mean, you gotta understand the the purpose was just like to fuck with that guy and get him wound I, up. I I know, but it's it's a it's a nitpick. It's it's something that bothers <laughs> me as someone who occasionally goes fishing. Um, but uh, yeah, fucking bus driver is a litter bug. He like leaves his beer cans everywhere. What an asshole! All both of them. Yeah. Pick up after yourself, man. That's mm. Rude. All right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we we find out that Space Greaser has done more things, like smashing up the bus that the guy was supposed to drive. Yeah. So I guess they, what they they repaired it or stole another one. I, I well, that, that yeah, that was kind of the whole thing. He's like, well, no, nope, guess you can't drive your bus today because the glass is broken. And like, oh, we need another bus. So retired uh, bus driver Grandpa is like, fuck it, I'm GTA uh, Alabama. Montgomery, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, hot wires a bus and he just pulls up and he's like, yo, we got you another bus. And the driver, and I think like, rightfully, he was, was like, what the fuck's going on? He's like, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> magic hand wave, British and thing. And roll. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ma- ma- magical teleporting grandpa was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, but we, we have a bit of a time constraint because apparently, uh, the doctor wrecked up her coat a little too bad and Rosa Parks is taking a little too long to stitch it up. So we got the intense stitching scene. Well, we have that and she's like, we gotta leave at a certain time. She's like, I can just walk. 
right? Yep. I mean, it's 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 America. I'm may, maybe maybe this is like too much me being influenced by 1980s, 1990s America, but I'm 90 percent sure it's like, oh, if you wait five more minutes, the bus will show up. Most people will not. Most Americans would not walk, but I don't know. Um, in a city, yeah, it depends. I mean, if you're living close enough to walk and it's not raining, you would just walk. Mm. I think, but come on, man. I mean, it's got to fit into the plot. Oh, yeah. And um, we kind of cut to uh, showdown in the headlights because Space Greaser is like genuinely in front of his 50s car with his 50s jacket and his 50s white t shirt, headlights shining behind hairdo. him. Yeah. Right, man. And uh, uh, the grandson hero is like, hey, what's up? What? This is just done with that. Next. It's like, now I'll move the car and then the bus can drive down this road that the car was blocking all it, two lanes. I, I mean, is, is this the last we're going to see of our time clansman? I mean, I just, so, 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 so he said, he says, right? Like I, I sent him back far, really far in time as far as I could figure it out. Uh -huh. So did he get sent back far enough in time to like kill that one bug that turns into people or like jizz into that pool of amino acids where Q and Picard are hanging out walking the, around the, pissing during all things, good things. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I mean, He's clearly fine with altering the timeline. Maybe don't send him further back in the past. Send him forward, but, man. But like this guy's motivation, like you, you, you brought it up earlier, is just so stupid. We, we, we get, we get Sinclair grilling him. It's like uh, when I was in jail, I realized that if you people would stay in your place, I wouldn't be in jail thousands of years in the future. That's a pretty, that's a pretty significant leap in logic. There, I mean. <sighs> I, I guess I guess it highlights the whole idea that racism is irrational right. and people ra racist thought does not follow any sort of real logic because it's just people finding an excuse to hate on people. But uh, I, 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 I don't know. His, his, his motive, his motivation there seemed kind of paper thin. Um, but they told the story. They managed to rearrange all the uh, white people and made the. Like thing happen that happens, and Rose is like, you know what? Eat a bag of dicks. I'm gonna sit the fuck down, call the cops, peace out. Gra and... gra grandpa, grandpa has a bit of a moral quandary though. It's like, wait, I can't stand people being treated shittily, but I need to do this so that the timeline doesn't get fucked. Like that, 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 that was some fake drama right there. Well, the, yeah, that was kind of unnecessary. It's like, get, listen, it's got to play out like this because reasons and yeah. But that kind of boils down to like, if that's not a fixed point in time. Like I, I don't know. Yeah, there, 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 there's some weird stuff. Like Rose's dad dying is a fixed. Well, I guess she's the bad wolf, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> like, let, 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 we're, we, we, we could spend like a, <laughs> another hour trying to dissect this fixed point. Don't that, try but. to pick apart Doctor Who. Just nod your head and smile, man. Hand yeah. wave. Um, well, lie back and think of England, as it were. The world's a better place. We're back in the TARDIS. I don't know. So this is we 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 actually get like a good view of the TARDIS interior this time. It's mm -hmm. like lit, and I don't, I don't know, man. That middle that middle section that's like normally it, it looks like the warp core from TNG. Mm -hmm. It looks a bit dirty now because it's kind of just like humping the air. Right. It lit up, but oh man, the fan boys and fan girls and fan humans, uh, everyone rejoiced because it moved up and down. They're like, yes. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it looked a little too phallic. That's Amen. all I'm saying. Uh, that definitely happened. And then they kind of like roll thing. You're like, okay, we're done. And you're like, no, let me show you what this all accomplished in Rosa Parks. And it kind of lays out that story. She got the uh, Congressional Medal of mm -hmm. Honor from Clinton, I believe. Yeah. And she's like, but it ultimately leads to, and we open the door, the TARDIS is in space. You get an asteroid named after you. I mean, you got got to got to tie it into space somehow, and it. We yeah, uh, okay, that it, it was an episode, man. I mean, it was a bit heady. Uh, I I I I have some complicated feels about this episode, right? Because oh yeah, I mean, I it, completely understand. Like a lot of people, are like oh, I don't want to discuss this episode, and but you got to. I mean, well, yeah, well, I, I, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily that, right? It, it's, it's my, it's this sort of issue I have with this style of storytelling. It's, uh, they, they ran into it back in like the forties when they were publishing Superman comics 
and they had on the cover like Superman going and like punching Hitler in the face. And it's like that's that's all well and good, but we flash back to reality and you know, World War II is still happening. People are dying. Like you when 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 you when you when you try to inject fiction into like sensitive historical events like this, mm-hmm. you've really tied your hands. You cuz well, uh, okay, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, it's like the um like one of the issues I have with Star Trek Discovery is like anytime you set something in the past, it what you just said, man, there, there's not much you can do in anything that you would even try to do. People would flip the shit out of in this particular case it's like rightfully so. But I, 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 absolutely, absolutely. For a very good reason. And it's not and like compare contrast to something like Inglorious Bastards. We were talking about that earlier. We're mm-hmm. like. That is clearly presenting it as like this is its own universe. This is right. clearly separate from the rest of reality. Period. And I think it only has a like narrative connection to Reservoir Dogs because one of the bastards is uh, Michael Madsen's great 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 grandfather or whatever. Um, I like the episode. I mean, I didn't hate it. Uh, it didn't do anything to like progress. I mean, neither did last week though. I mean, outside well, of the, the, the uh, they, got, scarves. they got the TARDIS. Right, and well, and and they, the they and they got the TARDIS back. Yeah, the, the, this ep- this episode really really feels like they 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 were trying to do something like heady and intellectual, but Doctor Who is not the vehicle to do something like this. Yeah. It's not. It's it, it it's a pulpy sci fi show, and it can have it can have a good message. But when you're tackling top like really complex and nuanced topics like institutionalized racism. Mm-hmm. You you have TV demands that you be glib and not really give the 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 topic like the attention and care that it deserves. This is also and, true, and it's probably like maybe this is something that you kind of build up to a little bit more as opposed to genuinely last week you were fighting space scarves. This 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 is also true. There's there's a bit of tonal dissonance going on here. Yeah, and next um, week, uh, spiders. I'm not kidding. That. I I didn't watch the preview for next week. I, like I said, I want I want to go into these clean. So we're 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 dealing with Ziggy Stardust and the spiders from Mars. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, and like, all right, uh, Doctor Who, uh, showrunners, others, man, pop music and Doctor Who at the end. Nay, do just that that was like what? Um, oh yeah, that, that was that. I mean, I, I I get what they're trying to do, right? But it's it's very it's very out of place given the existing score. It yeah, uh, it felt very disjointed. I mean, I have no problem it's, with it's, the, it's it's like uh, Capaldi noodling on his guitar, right? It's just yeah, weird. I'm like what? Okay, that was done. Also, kind of felt like it was a missed opportunity for like hillbilly Daleks. <laughs> like they had the Nazi Daleks that were like helping in the alternate yeah. universe. They were like, "Would you like tea?" <laughs> yeah, right. Or 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 the German Daleks when they're when uh, they invade Earth. Right. That, that one. Yeah. Oh man. Um, kind of digging it. We'll see what happens next week. I think oh, maybe. I was totally, I was, oh, oh, go, go, go on. Uh, I was going. Are, are, they, are we going to be doing like not to like spoil the previews for next week? But it we're just going to get like monster of the week. I'm a huge fan of overarching plots. Yeah, I, I, I think Netflix has kind of spoiled us for that, where like you can where you have the space to like dever- develop complex narratives over mm-hmm. like a course of like 10 to 12 episodes and they have like really good production quality and the writing is super sharp. But yeah, Doc- Doctor Who at its core is a monster of the week show. And you, you might be able to do like uh, the, the, I, I think it would, like Russell T. Davies did it really well with Bad Wolf, where yeah. where it's litter it's littered throughout the, the entire season. It's referenced constantly. You don't know what it is until the very end. And then you're like, okay. Mm. Yeah, no, but by the time that happens, I don't think they knew what it was until the very end either. And like, oh, Billy, um, you, are you up to anything? All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I will say I was totally right about Claudette Colvin last week. Claudette Colvin? Yeah. The, the I'm horrible woman. with names. Claudia Colvin was uh, the woman who originally was subjected to what Rosa Parks was subjected oh, to. Oh, right, 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 right. And 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 uh, they decided they decided to uh, they decided to repeat the situation with uh, Rosa Parks because Claudia Colvin was like she she was like uh, like um, a, a pregnant teenager with like hepatitis or something, and like they were they were afraid that it would project the incorrect image. Mm. So they they went with uh, they went with Rosa Parks. So uh, Miss Colfin get got a bit erased from uh, the history books. But anyways, uh, that's not to diminish uh, Mrs. Uh, Parks' work in the civil rights movement. Just 
added historical trivia. But anyways, um, I, I guess are we going to open up uh, open up the lines? Uh, we can crack Discord open for a hot minute. Let me check what we are on time. 9.58. Uh, if we get anybody that wants to pop in, we'll do a little bit of an after show. And um, mm-hmm. do, you, do you like to stay completely spoiler free? I, I, so, so on, honestly, honestly, when I watched it, I didn't stick around for the preview. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with like spoil, like being spoiled about it. I just didn't watch it. No, mm-hmm. that was just, I'm, I have no particular issue with it one way or the other. All right. Official show over. We're going into the after show. Bye. See you next week. Boop. Yep. I'm going to light that up. One, two, three, mm-hmm. four. All right. Hey, Jill. Well, Jill, no. are we awful racists? No, no, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, to me, it felt just like a Star Trek holodeck episode. <laughs> but I, I, I liked it, but it was just, yeah, it, it, it belonged. Th- those stories belong in the Star Trek universe a little better. <laughs> well, well, so, so like, uh, spe- speaking of Star Trek, right? Like, <laughs> that, that one two parter where, like, the, the crew gets sent back in time in Deep Space Nine. And they like, they, they uh, Cisco has to take the place of that one dude who started that riot to like mm. ensure that the future happens. That was a like, really good episode, right? But like, yeah. that's the sort of shit I want to see with my historical sort of time travel plots. And I realize, yes, with Deep Space yeah. Nine, they picked like a fictional future history event that they could mess around with. But I think that's that's the right way to go about it because, yeah, definitely. The the the, the plot was just so mm-hmm. hackneyed and predictable. Like, of course, someone's traveling. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a time traveler here. Oh, Rosa Parks is here. Oh no, the time traveler is here to murder Rosa Parks. Mm. Um, like, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It just, it feels too ham-fisted almost. It, it was a. Yeah. Clun- I mean, if you're looking at it like just as like structurally, mm-hmm. it was clunky as fuck. I mean, it had yeah. some very clunky dialogue at it, and, but mm-hmm. every time. Like, even when we were talking about Bad Wolf, anytime I start analyzing Doctor Who, I immediately go, it's fucking Doctor Who. Come on. It's yeah. wobbly yeah. sets, the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but, 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 but that then, then when Doctor Who tries to do a serious thing, it's like, well, again, you're not, you're not equipped to do this. You are not yeah. the correct tool for the job. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it was actually a very moving episode. Um, but um, I agree with you guys. The the bus scene scenes uh, seemed very forced. It, it just it just well, no, didn't uh, flow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ven Ven brought up a good point where it's like, yeah, it seems over the top. But I mean, if you're a black person back then, that's how you were treated. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't mean I don't mean how they're being treated. I mean the editing, the the way. You know, Rosa Parks would have noticed that all the characters were whispering among each other. You know, oh, <laughs> so, that, yeah. I, I, I mean, I've, I've that problem with Star Trek where like they hit their fucking com yeah. badge and they're just like talking to the ship and they're like, yeah, you know, people like <laughs> you're standing like three feet away from the person, the person you're talking about. They can totally fucking hear you. Yeah. No, that's not how it works on TV, man. No. <laughs> Stage and whispering. then um, them, yeah, them changing, uh, changing the music for the 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 credits uh and not using the ron grainer uh score kind of brought you out of the time instead of their you know them trying to bring you in into that time period it actually brought you out of it because it became too you know uh modern <laughs> so, mm-hmm. that was a thing <laughs> yeah i mean it's pop music i, I mean again yeah it's like ah, that felt out of place but hey they're trying to attract a new audience Gotta get them. Yeah. Gotta get them when yeah. they're young. I, I I don't even think it's that. I think I think someone's like, ah, oh, that's the the writers room was like, ah, oh, this would be a great song to end the episode. Yeah, with. they thought it would be in an, an yeah. Or or more more like, accurately, thematically, emotionally. Or more accurately, yeah. more accurately, like BBC owns the license or the usage rights to the song, and so oh, they picked it. yeah. Well, right. I mean, he's like, hey, can we do closing time? They're like, no. <laughs> All right, what do we got? I mean, it's the equivalent of that shit. And it was like, the, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I was like, geez, man. I mean, I felt like it was the end of Grey's Anatomy or something. Yeah, exactly. And that, that's what I meant. It brought you to today's time instead of Doctor Who's time. That, which, that's the yeah. wrong kind of doctor, man. Start, well, man, listen. <laughs> I mean, Star Trek fans, Doctor Who fans, they, they, 
Linux fans are going to find a reason to bitch about something. I mean, come on. Oh, oh yeah. We, we, we freely admit <laughs> that we pick nits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fishing rods, like, of, of all the things in that episode, this is what we focus on. Yep. And like, where, where'd you get those, man? I mean, yeah. yeah uh, well, I mean, I could have went hardcore, like I was talking before we went live. There was a, a constant velocity joint, like, leaned up in the junkyard against uh, one of the cars. I was like, that's not period correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just going to leave that. Everything else was all right. And a bunch yeah. of Buicks. It was like, yep, a lot of Buicks. A lot of... Mm-hmm. And the and the act uh, the actress that played Rosa Parks was excellent. She was really uh, she was very believable. It was uh, very good acting on her part. Mm-hmm. Had a pretty decent looking uh, young MLK too. I was like, well, yeah, yeah, all right, no, I can dig that. Do you think yeah. Jay and the Hoover figured out that uh, Martin Luther King was consorting with uh, time travelers? Oh no, <laughs> that's a deep that's a deep cut, dude. Hoover was. Man, Hoover, Hoover, like who, 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 Hoover would fucking have wet dreams about the surveillance apparatus today. Ah, uh, only. <laughs> um, I've watched a lot of stuff on that guy, and like every time, I just gotta like do a double check. It's like, is this factually accurate? It's like, yep. Mm-hmm. All right, that's thing. So you're gonna be tuning in next week, Jill. Are you gonna watch? Are you excited for the? Uh, Arachnids, yes, that's all I'm going yes. to say about it. Because that's really that, that, all you know about it. It's like, yeah, arachnids. exactly. And it, that's probably going to be a classic Doctor Who episode. <laughs> yeah. Do- Doctor Who meets Starship but, Troopers. But again, I'm, I do. Or yeah, Paul, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do uh, praise the writers for trying to do something different. So that was cool. And then again, like you guys were saying earlier, this is really filler until the big story arc. So. If there is one, I mean, yeah. if there is one, yeah, it might just be a lot of individual episode, individual stories. Well, like, 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 like I said, it looks like they're dropping breadcrumbs, right? Like last episode, yeah, we got two. We got, the, we, we, we got, we got the time child, and then we got confirmations that teeth people are going to be a thing this season. Yeah. <laughs> um, or brought up, but yeah, with the, I, I, I got to get hit by something to hook me. Like I, yeah. I really almost quit watching Fringe because I think the first six or seven episodes of the first series was legitimate monster of the week. And there's just like, mm-hmm. hey, we're solving a new mm-hmm. thing. It was very X Files, yeah. old school. Mm-hmm. Then then the whole Walter first stuff got it dialed in. I'm like, all right, what the fuck's going on here? Now I want to know. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I don't know. Uh let's see, what else? Oh, we got a bunch of TBAs. For seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which means I think you think they're gonna do like a mid season break? No, I'm I'm looking at the uh air dates right now. That's what I was just checking and no. uh they don't have numbers up for last week. Uh we got ten point nine million for the episode one, which I that was good. But nothing for Ghost Monument. I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, me too. Was, uh, Arachnids in the UK, the Saranga Conundrum, and Demons of the Punjab. Yeah, Maddie. Um, I definitely was like it, it, halfway through this episode. I was like, "Yep, this, this is a uh, yeah back to the quantum <laughs> leap future." Yes, group. yes. Mm-hmm. I, I really uh, <laughs> expected, you know, like Admiral Sliders. Archer's beagle to run across the uh, mm-hmm. stage. <laughs> Oh, right. Shit. Yeah. Next next week's my birthday. How about that? Oh, it is? Yes, it is. Yeah. Next Sunday, then. <laughs> you have like a give a fuck. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't expect Ven to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 I've, I've aged a year six times through the, the course of this show. Yes. And Ven has never nary made a comment. So <laughs> I, yeah, it's not a thing I expect out of him. <laughs> so not, to be honest it's not a thing i really care about other than i usually try to take time off during my birthday just mm. as a convenient yeah. excuse <laughs> that is like something i do not keep track of either do you do yeah. that oh sure. yes <laughs> what i, I keep, keep track, track of other i know you do jill that's pointless yeah, in asking <laughs> um 
<laughs> not 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 really. Like Google reminds me whose birthday it is. That fighting chance if I get that notification. But outside of that, I could not tell you when my mother or my siblings I have no idea. I might be able to get a month. Yeah. Down, but that's it. But I know people that can like rattle off twelve or thirteen different people. I'm like okay. <laughs> All right, um, that's going to do it for the after show. We're going to bounce out of here, and I don't have anything else going on tonight. That's nice. Oh, how nice. That's Neither do thing. I. I think I'm going to make some dinner, Yay. get some sausages to fry up. And just asking to be fried? <laughs> I mean, they're not asking anything. They're meat. They're dead. All right. Lovely. Okay. Thanks for showing okay. up. See you next week. Okay. Maddie, you get a yeah. this is like the old days because Maddie was the first person to show up on um just, yeah. When we first yeah, first went live before anybody else was in IRC, Maddie's like, I'm here, motherfuckers, dance. Um, oh yes. All by he was himself. the first one. Yeah, he was the first one I ever talked to too in IRC. <laughs> all right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bye-bye. All right. See ya.